All right, YouTube. So uh, today I'm going to show you YouTube TV on Amazon Fire Stick. So let me go all the way out to the home page here on the Fire Stick. So this is uh, YouTube TV. Um, it hasn't been available for too long. So I decided to check it out. So this this is what the interface looks like so you've got home right here and you've got um uh, this is how you can search for things right here um so it's uh kind of showing some of the last things that i was watching so the uh, it's got unlimited dvr so that's nice so you go to library to get to to that stuff so I've only, I haven't used it a whole lot. So to get to the live stuff, you go to live. And um, you can customize, see right here, you can fully customize the order of, of all of these things via the YouTube TV app. So I kind of put... You know, kind of rearranged it a little bit. I mean, I haven't spent a whole lot of time on this. I've only had it for a day. Um, so, um, but once you go into uh, the live stuff, see, it's... Okay. So once you're in the live stuff right here, you can hit down right here and you can uh, scroll through all the channels let's see networks yeah you can scroll through the different different channels while you're watching it live you know without having to channel surf let's see so here's some of the options here this is kind of dumb it just shows you the specs of what's going on at any given time. I mean, yeah, so it says that, that this feed is 1080p. I don't know. I guess it is. It looks pretty good. I don't know. But, I mean, mostly it's going to be 720p, like from what I understand. Uh, see, so this is how you add stuff to your library so that you can add it to your DVR. And, of course, there's, like, unlimited DVR, so that's... Nice. Let's see more to watch. So this is just on that on the channel that you're on. Like what what's going on on that channel? I I guess I don't know. More to watch. I have I don't know. I haven't quite figured that one out. But so so th so once you're in here, it's all you know. This is how you channel surf basically. So to get out of that, you would hit the back button, and it. Um, it just brings you back back to here. It's it's really a pretty simple menu. I think it's it's pretty good, you know, compared to Hulu TV, which the Hulu live stuff to me I think is pretty much trash. Um, the way how the interface is, I mean, it's if you can deal with that interface, you're gonna get most of the same content. So. Um, it might not matter to you. So, and sling is a, is a cheaper option. Um, and of course, the interface for sling, in my opinion, I'm gonna say is also trash. So, I think that my favorite was PlayStation View. PlayStation View is going to uh, end. No more PlayStation View at um, January 30th. So I'm just I'm trying some different things out to see what what is going to work for me. So you, YouTube TV is is a good option. It's got the content that that I want as far as like sports. Uh, NBA TV is included on here, and of course you can add on. You know, whatever. Um, so, um, I'll see it. Yeah, this, I'll just kind of scroll through what channels are on here. 
This shows all the networks that are on here. I don't know how many it is. 70 channels, I guess. Um, $50 a month. I, I did have, I mean, some. the only other thing that's, that's on this level to me is uh, the DirecTV um, streaming service, which is has been bought out by AT&T, apparently, or they sold it to them or something. So, I don't know. Maybe PlayStation View is, uh, you know, somebody will, you know, buy it. But if that doesn't happen within, the, you know, by January 30th, it's going to get shut down. So, I've been looking for alternatives. So, this is kind of a rundown of the uh, of this app. YouTube TV, you know, it's worth a try. You get a five-day free trial. Um, check it out.